right, y'all, Rick's about the morning show. Listen, y'all, y'all know we just fun and, and we just do information and stuff. Uh, you know, information and praise, uplift, or whatever. Now, we don't do a whole lot of controversial uh, interviews and stuff, but we got one this morning. But we happy to have because because you know, most people, you know, avoid controversy like myself. I, I wouldn't go in a, you know, a, a, but but she wants to tell uh, Latasha uh, Scott is on with us this morning. Y'all give her a big round of applause. Yeah, Latasha Scott. And, uh, uh, Latasha, thank you for coming this morning. For sure. But, uh, it's family. I mean, you know. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, we are so happy to have you. And uh, uh, thank you for taking this interview. Uh, unplanned and at the last minute, uh, gracing us with your presence. You are a legend. And uh, let's get into it. Latasha, you know Brat, Gary, Maria, Rock T, okay. Special K. What's up, Hope. y'all? What up, hey. 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 everybody in the building. What's Hope. up, Brat? What's All up? Right, so, so a lot has been said out there in the media about mm-hmm. you and uh, you know you and your sister Tamika. And uh, we want to clear things up <clears throat> from your perspective. Uh, what happened and where did it start? Um. I'm not sure. It, once we started to film, everything started to go crazy. You know, um, like I tell people, I signed up to be celebrated. You know, all of us, to be honest, 30 years in the game, that's what it should have been. Um, there are so many things that, that I don't understand about editing and just how everything is kind of transpired. So all I can say is I signed up to sing. I signed up for, for good stuff, and it ended up not being that. And I just wish I never would have signed up for this, you know to be honest. And with my sister, she's always going to be my sister. That's my family. We go through highs and lows, and everybody got peaks and valleys. It's just right now we're going through it in the public eye. Um, And I just ask that people would allow us to do that without judgment and allow us to be sisters and and, and figure this out. You know, so. So now, Latasha, now, this year, you know who this is, so I ain't got to introduce myself to you. You But Latasha, now, we've been following the show, SWV and um, Escape and what have you and stuff, and the madness that's been going back and forth with you and um, um, Tamika with the $30,000 alleged Mm -hmm. that you're supposed to have taken from her and your husband, Rocky. So my thing is, did y'all take the money? And I know you said um, in a report that, you know, to... Get your sister back, you would give her back the money. And $30,000 is not that much money, especially with you and Rocky. So my thing is, did y'all take the money? Did you cash just, the check? I never said give something back. I said I wanted oh. my sister back. Oh, you and I said oh, if I it takes $30,000 to bring us back, then I would. Um, That's what I said. But, no, it's it's a very delicate situation. And, no. I didn't. We didn't steal anything from her. No, we didn't. But not. why is she saying that? Why is well, she saying that? Because so there, because there was a video where she actually had the the accountant on, and the lady showing the receipts. Uh, there that, was an accountant uh, on. Uh, 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 if no, not, that whoever, was that was uh, that was Little Tamika Mama. Oh, okay. No, she's the white not lady. An yeah, that's Little Tamika Mama. That's that's. Yeah, no, she's that's, not. That's but tiny she said mama. That, that all the chicks, all the chicks went to uh, went to you and your husband. That's not true. <clears throat> So one thing that Tamika's mama said was that uh, you, she alleged that you and Rocky changed the address to your apartment in New York versus her uh, apart- house in Hampton. Did that uh, happen? First of all, my sister didn't live in New York, and no, all of us would stand with my mother, but no. Well, no, she said didn't she didn't happen. know who Ed- Edwin or Edward Bivens it was, and she found out that was your husband. Okay, well, everybody knows it's not true. Everybody know what's not that's, true. Edward Bivens, come on now. Oh, I don't, I don't know his name. Okay, I know his name. Well, she does. Oh. <laughs> she well, let him. me let me just interject and say what I've been saying the whole time. Um, okay. even when Candy, Tasha, and Tiny came on Dish Nation, um, I've been around y'all since I was kids, and yeah. what I do know to be true is no matter what you did or said when we was little. Um, your sister would definitely take your side, whether you was right or wrong. And vice versa. And I guess that's how sisters do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was, so that made it like two against two. And, mm. and, and it made it, because to me, you always seem like the the person everybody had to listen to, I guess, because you was the oldest. But Candy always seemed to be the one that was hurt and slighted because they had to take your side and follow what you said do. You said Candy was hurt and slighted? Yeah, slighted because everybody took your side because you kind of was the what, leader of the group. Right, but on on what in what instance can you can you say that about? Um, remember we used to be on tour and stuff like years ago. Just and Candy would just always seem like she would be sad. Just I don't know different instances like 
you know, we was on tour for a long time. We did a lot of stuff together back in the yeah. day when we was kids. I don't remember her being sad, though. Really? No. Oh, I think she, I, I've seen her be sad a lot and kind of like down. Um, and you're, are you um, saying that that's because of me, Brett? I'm saying because they, t- they took your side most of the time, it seems like. Because t- even if you even if you wasn't right or if you was wrong, your sister would always take your side, and you was like the leader of the group back then. Was you not like the leader back then? Well, at the end of the day, you know that's my sister, and most times when you have a sibling, that's the bond that you have. It's not so much as you know trying to bully anybody. It's just that's that's what how we were brought up. That's the bond. Um, as far as me uh, being the leader, I was I was always been that person who you know when it comes down to it, the musical. You know, making sure everybody was on their notes and stuff like that. So, I, when you're speaking, I don't know expect you know what instance you're speaking about, but okay. Well, I'm just speaking aren't, from what I what what I did witness of, about her being like sad and stuff. About oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Aren't, aren't y'all we got she was sad? Yeah, I think she said got, that. I actually rewatched the other the other show. What's the other one y'all did before this one? And I think uh, she was like almost crying, saying, "How could you not see when she was sad? She was sad all the time and." Uh, she, like she felt attacked all the time or something like that. Oh, okay, well, no, I don't remember that. I remember her saying that she felt like we didn't have a bun, she and I. Right, right, right. But not that she was sad all the time. I, this is my first time hearing that. Okay. All well, right, John, I, we got uh, uh, Natasha Scott uh, in with us this morning. Uh, we got more questions. Uh, big show uh, with uh, Escape and SWV going on, all of the stuff and the confusion about the money, the checks, the affairs, the tapes. Whole lot more stuff uh, uh, coming up. You don't want to miss it. Ricky Smile, The Morning Show. Now, Rocky, this story with this mistress woman, which really bothered me, my thing is this. How in the hell could she sit there and be very disrespectful to Latasha going out on sites talking about that she was with you for five years, you cried in front of her and stuff, you tongue kissed and all that stuff? That was very tacky her. Can y'all not sue her or do something about that? Because I, I just thought it was very disrespectful. We dealing with it. Even from a legal standpoint, so the less I say, the better. You know, the okay, other day, so, yeah, I'm so gonna y'all say this. suing her? I, I have, yes, come on, man, listen. You need to. Listen, I'm going to say this. The other day I got a phone call, because I want to address this. I got a phone call from Tasha K, right? Didn't know mm-hmm. I was being you know, recorded, just talking. Oh. She trying to get an interview. And all, all of a sudden, the whole world is replaying something I said illegally, you know, because mm-hmm. I didn't know I was being recorded. And, and and she called because of this female that is saying a bunch of stuff that I've been told to be quiet about until mm-hmm. it you know plays out in court. Yeah. But can y'all understand that when it's seven people on this reality show and since day one I have been attacked on every level. The minute I said I wanted to do music, gospel music, I have been attacked. You've never heard anything about nothing about me. I've been a, a wife. A mother I've done my job I'm in this industry so now it's coming where the television comes on and everybody's for TV oh I'm the bully too I'm a bully <laughs> I control I'm my just wife saying, I tell her what I don't to have do. a brain I've been doing this before I I got with him and, and Brad you know me I know you quiet over there now but you know I know me. well well I know you what what you what you, I mean, what you, you saying I'm saying what you, you saying? know me you 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 know I know what yeah, about you I know what about you you, you you know exactly right you so know so, so tell me what I know about you I, what you, you mean you know I ain't the guy to be running around here doing no rah rah I would think you would know that you ain't never seen so, me so no what no what do you expect me to say I know you but I don't know like that what you what you mean I'm acknowledging you on here I'm saying Brad you know me so you know I'm saying you ever heard me do some BS out here in the streets. I, I don't know you like that. I don't know about your personal life and what oh, y'all doing in your okay. personal life. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you and no mistress. I don't know about none of that stuff. No, no, no. I ain't That's talking not, about that. Oh, I okay. No no, no, I wasn't saying, I'm saying, what, what you, I'm what you, you know me. I'm your partner. You know, like, oh, I was yeah, saying, I know you yeah, from Chateau. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I wasn't saying it like that. I'm just oh, saying, I thought like, you like, were saying, like, I. Oh, no, I didn't say you said nothing. Nah, nah, nah. What's up? I'm trying to, what's up? That's why I said. She's Chateau, too, right? Yeah, we we from Chateau, definitely. Well, Tasha, you know what he's saying because that's your husband, but I didn't understand what he was saying because he said I know him like I had said something oh, no, bad no, no, about no, him and no. I haven't. Oh, no. No. I mean, so I, I just want to make sure. Hear, no, no, no. I didn't okay. even hear that type well, of Well, Latasha, I will voice. say this, honey. I would have did the same thing you did with that dress, babe, when y'all went out on stage and, honey, you had a different dress in there, son. I would have been no, Gary. Too. Well, no, well, Gary. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, she yeah. didn't get the memo. I did not. See there? She didn't get the memo. She didn't know that, so, honey, she had to wear what she liked. I mean, how many times have I dressed differently from my group? This, come on. No, Come so, on. so, Latasha, do you kind of feel like sometimes you're being bullied um, 
inside of the situation because I, I definitely have felt bullied. I have. This whole show is about me. Because you it can't even like, talk you know, about the other girls and as I, if I was them, I'd be upset because not once have they shown anything really about their lives. It's all been predicated on what people have said about me. I just want to sing. Right. And I don't understand how I'm under attack. Every time I turn around it's something. So people are accusing me of things that I have no I don't know nothing about. But but it Natasha, just, just what I want you to, to, to do for me, clear up the money situation because when I when I look at my phone, I see on the internet that's what yes. people are talking about uh, are the most. Because you know the uh, uh, affair and stuff is just always he say she yeah. say stuff. You live in Atlanta, people just flat yes. out lie or whatever. But clear up, like like precisely clear up the issue with the thirty thousand uh, dollars in the checks. I that can't clear up nothing. I don't know nothing about. Um, Ricky, I can't clear up nothing. I don't know nothing about. So that was I okay. know what I didn't do. I didn't take nobody. So money. why is Tamika showing all these receipts and showing? I think it came out yesterday. Why is she showing receipts you, with people name on it? Where my y'all name? name? But I'm saying, but where my name at? Um, it, uh, it's on there. If you go to YouTube, the last thing she posted, she posted something yesterday. Okay. It was your name and I think your husband's name on some sound scan something where she says this was the last time she was gonna talk about it. Sound where exchange. Some, sa- sound exchange. Yeah, sound scan. That's something else. My bad. Um, where sh- this the last time she gonna talk about it, but she gonna show receipts. This did happen to her. Mm-hmm. She is not lying. And she, you know, and, and then Tamika's mama was explaining what she told her to do. Mm-hmm. And then Tamika got her checks and, and the other checks came to y'all. And Edward Bivens or Edwin Bivens or whoever that is, mm-hmm. they said that's Rocky's real name. That's and he name. signed the checks. That's my name. What? But I'm saying, boy, oh, Tasha just said that wasn't your name. No, she didn't, I didn't. No, I didn't she I said, when I said Edward or Edwin no, or something, I said, I said the wrong Everybody name. know that. And you just said, Brad. I didn't know that, so no, I didn't, I didn't say know what that. You said. No, I said I didn't know that was his name, but you said that ain't his name. No, I she never was saying said that. that. They knew that was my name. I said they knew, and you said. Oh, and I said I didn't, because yeah. I didn't know that yeah, was his no, name. That is my name. And Brad, okay. y'all, let me say this: uh, Ricky, Brad, Gary, everybody, about this situation. Yeah, it is a family situation, but if we say something or what it is, then it opens up another thing of what it really is. So I think that. Uh, me personally, I'm going to stay quiet because I'm being accused so mm-hmm. that it don't go further. I think it should be dealt with within the family because I can say something. That's true, but both, uh, everybody keep talking. Won't yeah, nobody be but, quiet? But nobody won't talk to me. Yeah, but, right, she'll thing, say something, like, but then Tasha, I saw a video with you, and then Candy will say something, yeah. and then she'll say something again, and then, t- you yeah, know, right. it's been back and forth, so right, nobody's that's really why been I've quiet because I know everybody trying to defend themselves. They're trying to defend, everybody's trying to defend themselves, but I've reached out. I just wish that my sister will talk to me. How does everybody know? How is it just coming out? How is it because the cameras are out? I'm just finding out something like this that she says happened years and years and years and years ago when she was pregnant with my 10-year-old niece. Mm. So now when the television comes on, this is something. How would you feel if somebody all of a sudden just brought something up that you knew nothing about and now you got the world asking questions? I don't know. Nothing about no money. No $30,000. I don't know nothing about that. So instead, talk to me. I'm your sister at the end of the day. So out of all this that's been going on in the media, all this he say, she say, never, have you two I have ever never talked. Never talked about it. And never discussed it. Never discussed it. Wow. When the television came on is when I found When y'all watched is when I found out. What? So you holding on to something that I know nothing about and you trying to tell me that I knew? No. Yeah, because the best way to resolve, you got to get everybody in the room together. That's all I'm saying. But why are you not talking to me? Mm. So well, was it? They, was they it for said a they were trying was to talk to you. TV? Who was who? Who was they, they Brad? Who? Who? Uh, who? The girls. The girls. Uh, uh, Brad, uh, Brad. Your sister and Brad, Candy. Let me just say But they this. said you change your number all the time, and somebody no, don't Brad, have your no, number. No, Brad. When I had my number, nobody was using it. And then it was oh. the same time. Nobody was using it. I get it. You know, everybody, you got your people that you like. You know what I mean? I get it. But at the end of the day, please listen to all sides. You know, I get it. No, Y'all said I, I was a very dominant person. I'm dominant because I love what I do. I'm passionate about what I do. So when it comes down to the group, if we're not celebrated with the things Tasha, that we've done, we okay, was all scared of And if we was younger, you was not scared of you. Brad, you was, we was, you, all, Brad, you we was, was loving on me. Brad, you. Brad, you was we loving all, on me back in the day. We was all scared of you. Brad, you Nobody from Escape me. liked me when I came in. Because they was like, I who loved is this me and That's you was what they so was like. Sure. When I first peeked my head in that so-so deaf door, Brett, all y'all was like not Brett, happy at all Brett, with me. I, everybody know that though. And they was like Brett, looking Brett, at me like, Tasha. who is this? And hold on one second, Tasha. Brett. Come on, let's keep it. Let's keep it a hundred, Brett. Me and you. That's all I know how to do is That's, keep it a hundred. Okay, well let's go back. 
Me and you was tight. Me, you, and Nicole, we was the ones kicking it. So how you going to say when you peeped your head? I was the one who embraced you the most. At JD Studio. I'll okay. never forget it. I came from Chicago. All my granny taught me was I love everybody. But then when I stepped in that door and y'all was recording or something, y'all looked up at me with an ugly face. Now, we might we was cool after that, but at first I felt no love, and I was scared of you the most. Hey, you hey, Brad, scared of can me, I ask something? I, yeah, you yeah. loved on me the most. I was with I, your no, mama I, I, and everything. I, I, I Come did on, love on you. We I all grew up that. together. Come on, Brad. I know your mama, too. I, I mean, you know. I just got to ask you. one question. I got you. Uh, Rocky, I got did, you. Yeah. I got Ro- Ro- Rocky, did you it. did you cash the check? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, Rick, I'm laughing. No, no, no I'm just I saying that, that's no. that's on the sheet for me to ask. Hey, I mean, it's an important listen, question. No, no, I didn't cash the check, and I'm I'm gonna stick to my mother in law's wishes to yes keep it in the family. You know, she asked me to keep the not be, and yeah, not keep do this. Not it's do so this. much I want to say. I swear they're telling me to shut up. But I'm going to respect my mother-in-law because that woman don't deserve this. No. And if I talk, if I say something, it's going to be bad. So so the answer to the question, you you did not cash the check. I did not cash a check. And that, I'm going to leave it right there. I need to see you, Brad. I thought Brad was pregnant. Uh, yeah, yeah. she's going through all this. Baby gonna look like me. Oh. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just saying, I thought she was pregnant. No, yeah, no, no, no. All right, we have Latasha Scott here with us this morning. Of course, she has a brand new gospel album, and we do want to talk about that. But uh, continuing this conversation, and Latasha, we want to thank you for your time because, you know, this was kind of spontaneous. But my question to you, Latasha, is, you know, I went to your Instagram, heard your beautiful new uh, gospel record, and you sound amazing. You look amazing. Thank you. Um, What would you like to see happen in terms of the drama happening with your sisters in Escape? and you all coming to a resolution. Do you see you all coming back together um, so that it's not a distraction from you trying to promote this gospel album? Just that, you know, a resolve, us coming back together, um, understanding that all of us have to be held accountable for the things that we've said and done, and just communicate, you know, in in a way where it's not the point of the fingers, but if it's something that you have to say, get it off your chest and and just keep it moving. Because really, um, I really like to apologize because, the fans don't really need this. It's all. It's supposed to be about the music, um, but it's not that. You know, I and when it came down to this reality stuff, you know, I'm a singer. I'm not. I'm not. This reality thing ain't me. Um, Try thought that it was going to be different, but not. But I would love for us to get to a resolve. You know, yeah. I've reached out to my sister. Everything like so. It's not me trying to hide anything or run away from something. It's just I guess time. Right. I you hope. Know. Hold that thought, Latasha. We got, they pushing us uh, into commercial. Hold that thought, y'all. More, more Latasha Scott coming up next. Rick Smiley Morning Show. The one and only Latasha Scott. Hey, Latasha. Uh, first of all, let me say you have a beautiful voice, and I love that song. Thank you. Let everybody know how they can get this record. This is uh, definitely a powerful, motivational I mean, it's song. it's on all digital platforms. Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, anywhere you want to look, it's there. All right, y'all. Latasha Scott, Apple Music, Make uh, Girl Spotify. Music. <laughs> and, let, and let everybody know how they can follow you on social media. At I am Latasha, and that's L A T O C H A. L A T O C H A. Latasha, because I, you know, folks, some, you know, old people yeah. are going to say Natasha. You know, yeah. Natasha. I mean, I, I do, I will ask that you guys will pray for my family, pray for me and my sister. Um, you know, that. To me, family is everything outside of everything that's going on. I love her. And I just, you know, if y'all can do anything else, since everybody want to judge, pray for us. There, there you go. That's a good point. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up and show your love. right? And thank you for coming doing this oh, interview. Sure. We really appreciate you. And I uh, thank your husband, uh, bro. Thank you for clearing everything up. Uh, wow. we, we appreciate y'all always. Uh, um, um, y'all are always welcome on this morning show. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up for the one and only. Latasha Scott. Yeah. Front page up next. All right, y'all, Rick's Mountain Morning Show. We always do the front page right here, but, uh, you know, we just got a little situation this morning. And uh, we got uh, the one and only Candy Burris on the phone. Uh, Candy, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what you doing, riding around listening to the radio? <laughs> Listen, I'll be listening to y'all on my app. What do you mean? 
That's what's up. I was tripping. That interview was very interesting. <laughs> why you saying that? Why, why, why was it interesting? Uh, what, what, what are your thoughts? Um, it was a couple of things. I, I didn't understand what she said. She said everybody knew it not to be true when they were saying that his name is Edward Bivens because his name is Edward Bivens. So I was like, "What is she talking about?" Or, did, or was she trying to say Tiny Mama knew his name? I didn't. I didn't know what she meant. Mm-hmm. So, Candy, what hurt me? I was saddened by y'all didn't send her the memo she said for the dress. <laughs> she still saying that? Yeah, she said <laughs> she didn't get the memo. Well, child, she didn't send her sister the memo that she was kicking off the record deal either. But hey, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> So, Candy, what are, you, what are your thoughts on um, when Latasha said that she feels like she's being bullied right now? I don't even understand why she feels like, okay, she actually did an interview the other day calling Tamika a liar and basically saying if it's true that she took the money to put post the receipts. And that is why Tamika posted the full video of her on YouTube showing receipts of where they had changed Tamika's address, signed the back of Tamika's checks, and deposited them. If she had not kept, you know, kind of like baiting Tamika, Tamika would have never done that. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people are like, why is Tamika posting it now? Well, Tasha asked her to. You know what I mean? I guess she thought Tamika wouldn't really show the evidence or whatever, but Tamika did. So it's just like, as far as anything else, it's, I hate when people do things or, you know, in, you know, and then they want to come back and play victim. It's like, you're the one that's saying some things and people are, res- and we respond. Right. <laughs> as simple as that. Now, you know? uh, if, you, if you had to guess, Candy, how much, uh, uh, because Tamika said that she was being nice when she said that the check was for $30,000. Uh, she said she was just being nice by saying that. If you had to guess about how much money you think was stolen, if you had to guess. Well, I don't know how many checks were going to them before she realized it. Because basically, um, we received the, the checks kind of like multiple times a year. And so in the beginning, when they first came, because we were late finding out, out about Sound Exchange, the first couple of checks were a hefty amount because it was like, um, back pay, you know what I mean, for what they had already been collecting. Mm. So I can't give you an actual number just simply because I don't know how many checks they received on her behalf. Right. Oh, my God. Brett, so uh, you, my question yeah, to you, Candy, is, you know, you've experienced so much success individually, not just as an artist, but also as an entrepreneur. We've seen Tiny do really great things. You think that, like, like Latasha feels like, this is her time to shine as an individual. Like she never got the opportunity that maybe you and Tiny had, or is, is that, could well, that be I the mean, behind all of this? Well, I think at the end of the day, we all get the same twenty-four hours. So just because somebody else was able to accomplish something more, you know, it is what it is. Everybody get, you know, what comes to you is because is what you work for. You know what I mean? Now. Does she probably feel like it's her moment that she needs to do what she needs to do? That is possible. And I don't even think it's anything wrong with her wanting to do a gospel record. It's just for us, it's just every time it's time for her to do a solo project, it's the attitude that comes with it. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, as far as her doing gospel, like, you know, we all wish her success. We hope that she does, you know, well or whatever. We're in a bad place, obviously. It's playing all out on television. It's playing all out on social media. But we've been having these problems. We just I, that's so what I long. tried to say. I've tried to say that. You're but she right. tried to she You're tried right, to make right. it like Brett, you loved on me. That and that don't mean I never I, I loved all of y'all. That don't never mean that. I'm just saying everybody did have like a fear for her. And it, it it is what it is. Like I don't, I ain't got to lie, Craig. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, girl. And I told her I watched uh, Escape Still Kicking It last night, some of the episodes again. And when you tried to talk to her and let her know that you've always felt like that, you've always felt kind of like. 
you know what I'm saying? Your feelings got hurt a lot. She, they yeah. always took sides and, you know, and, and your how you felt got pushed to the back because Tasha was the leader of the group. And she's like, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yes, you did. I just watched it. Y'all talked to each other face to face. Y'all both was crying. Yeah. It was a great scene. You know what I'm saying? But now she's saying she don't remember that. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I'm going to just. Well, she can go back and watch the first season. I, that's so. what I'm saying. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, it sure. was the two of y'all. So. I don't know what. And yeah. then Rocky jumped on and said, "I know him. I know, I know of him, and I know him from being with R. Kelly and growing up in Chicago and stuff. But I don't know what he does in his personal life. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I can't vouch for anything that anybody does, or I don't know what goes on. I mean, I hear a lot of stuff, but right now the show is what's airing, and this is what we're going off of what we see. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> uh, but everybody that's tuning in. For everybody that's tuning in, we got Candy Burris on the phone. Uh, and then we, uh, just for the record, we got some uh, clips when we were in the commercial break uh, 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 that we recorded because we continued the conversation during commercial in that part of the interview. Uh, I have not aired yet. Uh, we talked about uh, another six minutes. Uh, uh, so, Candy, will the group be doing anything else or is, is Escape going to be... Uh, Done. Uh, well, Escape got a lot of shows coming up. We got, I mean, it's just the three of us without Tasha. So, like this weekend, we in DC. We got shows coming up all across the country over the next few months. Um, and you know, unfortunately, right now we're just not in a place where you know Tasha will be performing with us. So it's just the three of us. We gonna still be killing it, still bringing it like we have been. We've been doing shows without without her for a minute. Oh but, yeah, we know we you, you know, gonna do that, Candy, for sure. So, so for Candy, sure. can, uh, so Candy, when uh, Lionel Richie left the Commodores, they got another dude that looked kind of <laughs> like Morris Day to fill in for Lionel Richie. Are y'all gonna be doing any auditions uh, for somebody to, you know, I mean, because the show got to go on? Um, to be honest, we don't really feel like we need to do that because realistically, Tamika can sing all her sister's parts, um, and it's no shade to Tasha, um, but. She can't, you know, Tamika is very capable of singing all her sister's parts. So, right. Candy, I'm not trying to be, be messy or nothing. Uh, would y'all even consider uh, letting Miss Juicy come out there and sing a couple of songs? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Miss Juicy, definitely. We got to get her outfit made. <laughs> so what would it take for reconciliation, Candy? Because at the end of the day, I mean, it's, you know, people feel like it's entertaining to see the back and forth, but I hear the pain in your voice. I hear the pain in, well, the concern, not the pain, the I concern say, in both no of y'all. Bo- yeah, the voice. concern, the okay. concern, no. because they're sisters. And as black women, yeah. you know, we want to see y'all come together. It may, it may need to be a different version of sisterhood than y'all had before. But what would you say it would take for reconciliation for y'all to find just a peaceful resolve? I think it really starts with the sisters. You know what I mean? It starts with them. You know, they have to work out. They have a lot to unpack or whatever between them. And then conversations after that can be had. As far as Tasha and I, we ain't never really got along since we were kids. And just like Bray already explained to you, it's like, I'm used to this. You know what I mean? And I don't think she ever really cared when things upset me. But, you know, it's different when it's her and her sister. So if I, I just feel like if the two of them figure it out, then later on, you know, we can all have conversations. But honestly, right now, everybody just need to take a break and, yeah. and let some time pass. In space, yeah. yeah. Well, Candy, do you think y'all will ever get together, back together again and maybe just do a gospel album together all, for y'all? Lord, well, what's going on right now? I ain't giving gospel, friend. <laughs> not, giving gospel. <laughs> not, at, not at all. <laughs> no. Not at all. You know, um, he says but, not giving um, gospel. Hey, you never know what could possibly happen. I just, eh, right now, I don't see it, to be honest with you. Okay. I don't, I, I don't see it. All right, Candy, tell, tell everybody uh, about the show and how can they follow the show uh, and anything that you're doing and how can they follow you on social media? Oh, okay, thank you. Um, well, we're on the show, SWV and Escape, um, the Queens of R&B, and that's you know, every Sunday night on Bravo at 8 p.m. You can watch all the repeats on the Peacock app, uh, streaming app. 
And then if you want to catch us on tour, Escape, then you can just go to Ticketmaster and pull up Escape. We got all our shows that's coming up on there. I hope we get to see you guys soon. And follow me on social media at Candy, K-A-N-D-I. And um, oh, we're on D.C. on Saturday. I think the show is almost sold out, though. Oh, wow. That's crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up and show your love for the one and only Candy Burris. Yeah.